that's known to you uh, out there. Uh, actually, I just want to say thank you to all of you who have subscribed to my channel and have been watching my videos. You're the reason why I'm still here. So thank you very much. Um, today, before I go ahead with um, the topic for our discussion, I would like to pay a little tribute to Chadwick Boseman, King Chala. Now, the first time I heard about Chadwick Boseman, it was from my son, my uh, eight-year-old son at the time. Uh, he always said Wakanda bros forever with his friends, and they would go like this, Wakanda bros forever. And I had to call them to give me an explanation of what that was about. And uh, because of them, I went ahead to watch the movie, um, The Black Panda, and everyone knows uh, how awesome uh, King Chala was in that movie. And so when I heard about the passing on of King Chala, it was with a heavy heart. You know, um, heroes uh, should not die, but well, what can we say, humans as we are? But one thing uh, that touched my heart about Chadwick Bosman was the fact that he fought cancer, like they say, to a great extent alone. Not many people knew what he was going through, the struggles and all. Uh, but whilst he was doing that, he was lifting lives, you know? Just after his death, uh, a lot of pictures surfaced on the internet of him visiting uh, cancer patients, children most especially, giving them gifts and just making their lives beautiful. And you know, what a large heart he had. So this is to you, Chala, King Chala, Chadwick Bosman. You are the real hero. Um, you really have written your name on the sands of time, never to be erased. We love you. We we'll miss you. Uh, God loves you the most, and may your memory forever be blessed. Um, so today I'm going to talk about two foods uh, that most of all cannot, most of us cannot do without. I'm talking about rice, and then I'll be talking about meat as well. Rice has been labeled like one of the poisons that uh, we take into our system, and that is for several reasons. The first one is that um, a naturally occurring uh, carcinogen, arsenic, uh, that's is in our water on the soil and is sometimes taken up by the plants that we eat, is particularly um, absorbed in uh, significant quantities by rice because of the method of cultivation. You know, rice is cultivated in swampy areas and so because of the water content of the soil, where rice is usually cultivated, it gets to absorb more of that arsenic, which also becomes available in significant quantities in the rice that we eat. First of all, let's talk about rice a little. We have uh, brown rice, we have the white rice, we have uh, the basmati rice, and we have purple, we have black, and several, about over 250 or more species of rice. Yeah. But the most common uh, type of rice that we eat is the white rice. Now the white rice is usually processed, so the, the bran is taken away, the germ of the rice is taken away, and what we consume is usually the endosperm. And so with the taking away of the bran, bran and the germ goes away also most of the phytonutrients and most of the vitamins that come with the rice. You know, so the rice is usually, the white rice is not as nutritious as brown rice you know however after the processing of the rice uh, and the uh, bleaching of the rice and all that they do they sometimes add try to add back some of these vitamins and phytonutrients that's why if you check the label of most of the rice you buy you see enriched vitamins enriched rice okay so white rice on its own is not too nutritious uh, not as nutritious as brown rice Brown rice still has the brown, still has the gem, and then the endosperm, and so it's richer in vitamins and phytonutrients. However, research has found out that brown rice actually contains more arsenic than the white rice. This is because the arsenic is present in the brown, which is still present in brown rice. The comfort for most of us who eat uh, whole grain rice, brown rice is whole grain rice, is that the um, fiber in whole grain rice prevents the absorption absorption of uh, arsenic. So the amount of arsenic that can be absorbed from the brown rice is almost the same as that that can be absorbed from the white rice. That's according to researchers. Yeah, but uh, of all of these types of rice, the rice 
species of rice that seems to be the best is actually the basmati rice, particularly Indian basmati rice and California basmati rice, amongst others. So these contain, these are said to contain less arsenic, and they are actually very healthy. So if you can afford them, again, I say, because I, I'm not going to shy away from the economic situation in Nigeria particularly, and in the world generally. And I know that this species of rice, basmati rice, is, is quite expensive. So if you can afford to eat basmati rice, please do so. At one point, too, I, I was conscious and I was eating basmati rice, but this time uh, I eat more of the um, local rice. Actually, our local rice in Nigeria is less processed than the ones we import. So if you can lay your hands on local rice, I think it's better you eat local rice than the imported, processed, and treated rice, because that one also, in order to increase your shelf life, they add some chemicals also that are not good for our body. But our focus today is on the presence of arsenic in uh, the rice that we eat. Why? Because arsenic is a carcinogen. Yes, it's actually classified as a category one or class A carcinogen. That means it causes cancer in human beings. When the FDA made the publication about five years ago about the presence of arsenic in the rice that we consume and how it was affecting us, you know, research, a lot of research started to go on. And it's been discovered that there's a way we can cook our rice to reduce the amount of arsenic in the rice. And that's the focus for today. So for you to reduce the content, the arsenic content of the rice you're cooking, we can soak your rice overnight. Soak your rice that you're going to prepare the next day through the night in a lot of water. And then at the break of the day before cooking, you pour out that water. Research has found out that some of the arsenic content in your rice, maybe up to about 80%, will be passed onto the water and can be poured away with the water. That's the first thing you can do to reduce the arsenic content in your rice. Now, the second thing you can do is to boil your rice in more water than you require. For instance, one part of rice in five to six, six parts of water. So you boil your rice, at some point lower the steam, allow the rice to get soft, and then there still should be excess water in the rice that you can pour out. This water you pour out is said to contain some more of the arsenic in your rice. After pouring out that water, then you can now rinse this rice in some warm water, and then you can place it on the fire for a few minutes to get it dried up or something before you eat. This way you'll be reducing to a very great extent the amount of arsenic in your rice. Apply this at home, it's not too hard. Arsenic is present everywhere around us, and we cannot really completely avoid it. But there are things we can do, like in our rice, we can avoid the quantity of arsenic because the quantity of arsenic we, con con we consume from our rice is a cause of concern you know, to everyone. So we can actually reduce that quantity by doing these two things I've mentioned, soak overnight in excess water and pour off the water and then boil or cook it in excess water, pour off the water, rinse off the rice with warm water and then um, allow it to boil for a while and then eat. Remember that your water can also have arsenic depending on the source. So let's ensure that we are not using arsenic uh, water, water with an excessive amount of arsenic as well, uh, to rinse this rice. That, that might complicate the issue for us. Yes, so the next thing we're going to be talking about is, uh, before I go on again, if it is white rice, just to let you know, especially processed rice, nutrient-enriched rice, because these nutrients are added after this rice has been processed, they can be easily removed by the rinsing and soaking. Yeah, another thing you can do is to put your rice in the filter and rinse it until the water is clear. So all of that um, whitish water actually contains arsenic. And also just um, a fun uh, fact. Do you know that in the Victorian age, women were usually eating uh, arsenic crackers to make them, their skins glow and look more beautiful. And I'm sure that you're familiar with all of this gist of um, rinsing rice and using the water to treat your face, to treat your hair. Uh, it actually seems to be that it's because of the arsenic content in the rice water that makes it good for our skin. So they've said after boiling off your water and, and pouring out the water, you can actually use it to bathe your face to increase the glow. Well, I hope that in the future they won't tell us this is also harmful for our skin. Okay, so a way to meat. There are also different types of meat. I'm sure we are familiar with two basic kinds of meat. White meat, which is made from birds, 
basically uh, basically uh, poultry meat, and then the red meat, which is meat from uh, muscle meat from cows, pigs, uh, goats, uh, lambs, and stuff like that. Yeah, so we have red meat and white meat, and so far we've learned that red meat is not healthy for us. That if you increase your consumption of red meat, you increase your risk for high, as, uh, cardiovascular disease, for type 2 diabetes, and stuff like that. Yeah, we must also not ignore the fact that red meat is very rich in vitamins like vitamin B, it's rich in proteins, which we need for our growth and to stay healthy, amongst others. Now, amongst the red meat, okay, yeah, in Nigeria, they sometimes um, consider bush meat, meat from rabbits and other bush animals to be white meat. However, they're not classified in other spheres as white meat, just to get us clear. Yeah, so we have factory farmed red meat. Uh, that's meat that's gotten from cow and other animals that were factory farmed. These factory farmed animals are not fed with herbs, that's their natural food, but they're rather fed with grains, given uh, growth enhancing hormones, and also given a lot of antibiotics, which make their meat less healthy and harmful for our bodies. And then we also have organic uh, meats, which comes from animals that were raised on, on natural foods like herbs and not given antibiotics and growth enhancing hormones. Now, the most dangerous type of meat to consume is processed meat. Yeah, that's meat like bacon, sausages, hot dogs, salami, and bologna. Yeah, so we should avoid processed meats, absolutely, if you can. Avoid them completely, or if you cannot avoid them completely, reduce your intake of processed meats. This is because these contain a high content of salt, like we said. They contain added sodium nitrites, nitrates which are carcinogenic you know amongst other chemicals in the course of processing this meat so they are really really not good for the health at all now another class of red meats to avoid is actually uh, grilled or barbecued meat now before we even go into grilled or barbecued meat any kind of meat cooked in very high temperatures contain heterocyclic amines the amino acid the creatine you know, and the proteins in this meat uh, reacting at high temperatures will give rise to heterocyclic amines, which are carcinogens. They've been classified as carcinogens. That means they can cause cancer. They cause alterations in our DNA, uh, leading to uh, our cells becoming cancerous. Okay, so don't cook your meat in excessively high temperatures, fried meats and all that. Now, secondly, when we barbecue our meats, the juices from this meat sometimes drop into the coals or whatever surfaces we are using to barbecue our meats, and then it goes up, flares up in flames, and then the smoke from these gets attached to the meat and we eat. Now when this happens, there's a formation of polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons that are also carcinogenic, you know, so when the fats from our meats, the juices from our meat, drops into the hot surfaces or the coals, there's incomplete combustion of these fats that gives rise to polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, which are carcinogenic. By the time we consume these meats that are so prepared, we are ingesting carcinogens. I hope that we've gotten this clear, and I hope that we're going to be doing something about it. Uh, Generally, cut down on your consumption of red meats yeah, because red meats are consuming red meats have been associated with um, cardiovascular diseases and also have been associated with type 2 diabetes, amongst others, and some types of cancer. So, cut down on your consumption of red meats. If at all you're going to consume red meat, consume organic red meats if possible. And then, barbecued meats and uh, grilled meats are a no no. Except you can find a way to prepare them without having their juices drip onto surfaces and flying up in flames, coming back to attach to the meat and you consuming these carcinogens. Also remember that processed meats are the worst kind of meats you can consume because processed meats contain sodium nitrites, amongst all the additives, salts, and chemicals 
that when you consume them, they're not healthy and they're carcinogenic. Yeah, that's so much for today. Uh, it's a, my pleasure again as usual. I hope uh, you've learned something new. I hope you're going to do something differently. I'm going to stay healthy. You're much loved. You're much valued. We don't want to lose you. I know you're saying, okay, this will not keep me alive. Do what you can. Use the knowledge that you've acquired. And that's be all for today. Uh, I hope I see you again next week as we talk about something more interesting and educative. And so have a very pleasant week there, productive week out there. Spread love, not hate. Remember, everyone is dealing with something that sometimes they do not talk about. So be tolerant of other people. Spread the love around. Shine your light around. And you'll be the better for it. I think the light that we shine out also reflects back to us and makes us glow. So that's it. Yeah.